Iran executes three protesters for enmity against God. In Iran, three protesters accused of killing members of Iran's security forces during the recent anti-government uprisings were executed on May 19th, leading to widespread protests and international condemnation. Majid Kazmi, Saleh Mirhashimi, and Syed Yakubi were executed after being charged with enmity against God for their alleged involvement in the deaths of two Basiji paramilitary members and a law enforcement officer. Um, however, the Iranian government failed to provide conclusive evidence linking them to the incident. Concerned about their safety, family members gathered outside the uh, Dasgir prison in Isfahan, while crowds gathered in support outside the facility. The executions were criticized by human rights organizations and demonstrations took place in Berlin, London, and Stockholm. Amnesty International claimed that confessions showed by Iranian state media were extracted under torture. The executions brought attention to Iran's increasing use of the death penalty, with over 220 executions reported in 2023 alone, and more than 582 death sentences handed down in 2022. The European Union strongly condemned the execution and called on Iran to halt the practice of imposing the death sentence for protesters. So these... Um were the, the court proceedings, the way that they carried this out was insane. It was so insane that even some of the pro-regime people were like, we have no idea what these people, what, like, where is the evidence? Like, where they had, they didn't even had access to the lawyers that the government picked for them. So this- Seriously? This, oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. Everything about this, how this was done well, violates uh, the Islamic Republic's own rules, right? So they had- According to the Islamic Republic, they have to be able to choose their own lawyers. They weren't, and they weren't even even able to. And the the evidence was not sh shared with us with the public. They, like nothing. Like it was complete. Everything was done in darkness. These people were killed, and the 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 narrative of what they have done kept on changing, and different officials were giving contradictory statement. Uh, it was insane. It was insane. And then they, they had audio leaked out of the prison that they said that everything we said was taken from us under torture, right? And also, they, the crime is like enmity against God, but the action that they did, accu were accused of, is like killing three um, government Basijis. officials during the, pro during the protest, which, by the way, a lot of people think like if they have done this, they're actually heroes because they were fighting the um oppressors of the people during the revolution but we don't even they were know protecting if they've done this. their community from being annihilated by state violence on its own civilians exactly. let's be clear exactly well i mean we don't um, so they're either innocent or heroes right so i don't know which one but, but given that they were tortured um we don't know which one of these they are either war either way they were not guilty um and it it's just it's, it's, it's they're making such a joke off of their the entire legal system based on, they're making like they're questioning their, their own rules their own procedures that they're supposed to have based on their constitution of the islamic republic <clears throat> they're even turning that into a joke like the entire like all the lawyers within iran is like why do we even have the system like you guys are completely ignoring all the procedures that we're supposed to have in order to condemn somebody by the way i want to share something about these th um, a note I posted. Uh, oh, on, Armin, on I think we account. put that. I think we embedded that in the article. Oh, we if did. You scroll down. Oh, this is the father. He's. This is the father saying, "My son is innocent. He didn't have a gun, and he the name of his son. So, but now his son is executed. So, oh yeah, this is my tweet. Um, let me see if I could read the full thing. Oh yeah. So they, this is, you can see from the stamp on this note that they took a book from the library of the prison and they ripped it and they wrote something on, the, on that and they snuck it out, right? So these are the three people inside. You can see the name of the three at the bottom, right? So this is my caption for the note. This is before they were executed, right? This is a, a, a title, a, don't let them kill us. I said, this is a letter, this is a letter smuggled out of prison written by three pr prisoners in Iran. They were all executed shortly after. 
The letter reads, hello, hello, we ask, so actually it says, yeah, hello, we ask our dear fellow citizens not to let them kill us. We need your help. We need your support. So they were begging Iran other Iranian citizens to just like, please help us. Don't like, the, the reason why they're saying our fellow citizens is to try to appeal to the fact that we are fellow Iranians. Like, don't let them kill your fellow citizen. Like, don't let them kill us, right? Um, and so their names were uh, Saeed Yagubi, uh, Saleh Mirhashemi, uh, and Majid Kazemi. Um, yeah, and they were convicted of murdering members of the Islamic Repub Republic's armed forces, a conviction that Amnesty International said had been uh, based on conf confessions extracted by torture. So yeah, this didn't work. And I, I, the number of executions are increasing in Iran, which is odd because the regime is under a lot of international and internal pressure for its crackdown on people. And instead of backing down, they're increasing it. So, and uh, um, the, the theory is that a lot of people think maybe the regime is weak and they want to show that they still they their their claws are still sharp, so mm -hmm. to 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 use fear as a way to get people to be to to stay quiet. Well, but, we know that things are not good behind the scenes in the deep state. They're getting real shaky. No. Yeah. I also wanted to cover this news because in reaction to these three executions, we saw um, one of the larger bursts of public demonstrations that we've seen in the past couple of months. Did you have any? like takeaways or opinions on that, like to see actually more people out in the street again and more activity than we'd seen in a while. Yeah, but people are, like the regime is trying to show that these protests are not leading to anything, right? And if, you know, we're, we're going to keep doing what we're doing, right? And some people are believing it. And also a lot of people are becoming hopeless because of external pressure, especially because the United Nations, you know, had a conference where they put uh, the Iranian guy, the head of the human rights um, meeting, right? So it came out the news that after all these killings and all these executions and all this um, oppression, the United Nations still puts in the Iran, Iran as the head of the United, as head of the United, as the head of the human rights uh, council for a meeting, right? And people were like, you got like that, and I think the Islamic Republic did that secretly as a way to uh, like use a loophole to make sure to get that position to signal to the Iranian people that, you know, the foreigners, they're not going to do anything for you. So stop trying to reach out to them for help. Like, look, like they're even putting us at the head of uh, the Human Rights um, uh, Council, right? Um, so there's a lot of hopelessness right now spreading. But a lot of people are trying to not give up hope. Um, I think that every time I feel like there is a desperation and hopelessness spreading, I, I show the evidence that within the regime, there are a lot of disunity and infighting going on. And it, it, the chances of the government, you know, the major change is coming from inside the religious authority itself. So mm -hmm. the people have the pressure that comes from outside has started some uh, some divisions within the regime itself and that is the best hope that there so the best hope is not necessarily coming from other countries and it might not be even coming from the opposition um but it might be coming from the regime itself and how much they're fighting with each other because as you mentioned a lot of people came out to protest against these you know executions but recently you one of the, these protests, you, they were fighting within the opposition, like in London, one of these protests turned into infighting between the opposition itself, like Iranians. Outside, and that was like... It's that getting a little amazing. messy. Yeah, somebody... Will, I, I'm not going to even say what happened because I don't want to add to the, the hopelessness. But a lot of people see that and think like, okay, we don't have a strong opposition. The opposition is constantly fighting with itself instead of fighting the Islamic Republic, right? So, yeah, I know... Mm, if you guys want more detail, let me know. But I could like, um, I, maybe I could talk about it more in secular jihadists. But yeah, so this oh, is the state of things. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.
And right now we're looking for video editors. Video editors would be working with me. Graphic designers, I think graphic designers would be working with Susie. Um, uh, grant research and writing assistant, they would be working with Susie. Team coordinator or volunteer applicant ma application managers, they would be working with me. English to Persian translators, they would be working with me. Voiceover narrators would be working with me. High profile guest uh, finder and coordinator, that they would be working with me, that position. Live event speaking opportunity hunter, that would be working with Susanna. Uh, news cur curator and writer, that would be working with Susanna. Art team manager and payment coordinator, that's a position that would be working with Susanna. Financial coordinator and bookkeeper, that's a position that would be working with Susanna. Uh, social media manager, that's a position that would be working with me. A Drupal web developer, that's another position that we're working with Susanna. And lastly, live stream co-host in the background, most likely, unless somebody is really good. Um, you know, that would be for maybe secular jihadist recording videos, or if they speak Persian for maybe for Persian, uh, the show, that would be working with me. Again, the link to the application for volunteers is in the description and also in the live stream. Um, so if you want to join our team as a volunteer, please consider doing so.